What's the latest in the mounting case against Keefe D for his involvement in the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur? Okay, we're going to get into it today. But before we do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, or become a member to this channel. All right. Prosecutors are now coming in with what they think to be is their most powerful arsenal yet in the case against Keefe D. And this is hidden documents and testimony stemming from their investigation into the death of the notorious B.I.G. So ex-LAPD cops have been piecing together a case that points directly at Keefe D as the man behind Tupac's assassination. Now, we all know this to be true if you've been following my channel and if you've been following this case in general. Now, this report came out yesterday by the U.S. Sun. And the U.S. Sun, I gotta say, has done some phenomenal coverage on the death of Tupac and this case. So this evidence is clearly decades old, but prosecutors are claiming that this is what they need to convict Keefe D. So according to sources, the Clark County District Attorney's Office has been quietly working with the ex-LAPD detectives and even some of the disbanded Compton police force on this case. And these seasoned officers have been going through thousands and thousands of pages and, and files from the Biggie Smalls investigation, and much of which they said will never be made public for obvious reasons. But they said they found some nuggets that will be key in helping them construct this case that legal insiders describe as being airtight. So the latest revelation here goes beyond Tupac's murder. In fact, the files are actually said to include other accusations against some of the biggest names in the music industry during the 90s. <clears throat> Diddy, no, I mean, I, I'm just speculating. They actually did not mention Diddy at all in their article. But the details are being kept under wraps, so possibly I'm correct here. But insiders say these allegations might actually be too explosive for the public to handle. And I'm sitting here like, all right, what more do you have to throw at us? We saw Diddy beating the absolute crap out of Cassie in a hotel room. I mean, I feel like I've seen it all at this point. But what we do know about these files is that they tie Keefe D directly to the nights or directly to that night, September 7th, uh, in Las Vegas, laying out a web of connections of, you know, Keefe D and other criminal gangs, industry powerhouses, and other high-profile figures. So prosecutors revealed in one of the court hearings that Keefe D was implicated in 1997, and even before he implicated himself and started spilling his own secrets, they already thought that he was the guy here. So while Keefe's defense is attempting to paint his confessions as nothing more than attention-seeking stunts and, you know, he was doing it all to make money, prosecutors are absolutely not buying it. They're, again, sitting on what they call the largest trove of evidence that they have come by thus far in this case. And <clears throat> witness statements plus circumstantial proof and a mountain of old intel from California law enforcement is going to prove this. So yes, this case goes back decades with law enforcement across California and Nevada holding on to these really important details and insights into Keefe D's alleged criminal operations. But for years, none of this has ever made it to a courtroom until now. The Clark County DA's office has spent the last three years working behind the scenes to gather every piece of evidence that they could find, and again, collaborating with former officers of the LAPD and even Compton to see this case totally through. So the stakes are high, and the witness list for Keefe D's trial is expected to be something out of a Hollywood blockbuster. So you can expect to see former LAPD officers testifying about their investigations, recounting events leading up to and following Tupac's murder. And then they're going to basically provide very, very damning and allegedly chilling insights into Keefe D's criminal history. So, and these insights were some that he was all too eager to share in interviews 
with Vlad TV and whoever before he had this, this sudden change of heart. So also in recently resurfaced recordings, detectives confronted Keefe's associate DeAndre Big Dre Smith who was riding in the backseat of the Cadillac the night that Tupac was killed. So they are re these, these tapes are resurfacing. And I say that because uh, big Dre Smith has, has passed away. I believe he passed away in 2004. So on a tape, <clears throat> a detective is heard telling Smith that multiple informants had identified him, Eric Smith or Deandre Smith, big Dre, uh, as the the trigger man. So Smith is like, no, 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 no. I, I did not pull the trigger. That was absolutely not me. And despite his denials, the investigation back then already did have their eyes on KPD. So they were kind of just playing him there. Um, but again, he passed away in 2004, so he won't be taking the stand. But this audio serves as just a chilling reminder that he's like, nope, it wasn't me. It was someone else. So yeah, the police, they knew a lot more than they let on. So what's, I don't want to say shocking. It's it's more tragic, but I think we, we kind of, you know, we never expected this case to actually get this far because it's been 25 years and there's been a lot of backroom deals. There's been very, uh, there's been people that are fearful of, of gang retribution. So I think that's part of the reason that this has taken so long. And now it's all coming to a head and what could be the most significant trial related to the murder of uh, an R&B and rap star, a legend, if you will. So I, uh, I want to continue to give everybody these updates on Tupac and about the, his murder case and about Keefe D in general. Keefe D should be due back in court next month, and I will provide everybody updates on that as well. Thank you for watching Pop Crime TV. I'm Lauren Conlin.